Hello and welcome to my video about famous civil engineers. Civil engineering is one of the oldest and most important engineering disciplines, and it has been involved in many aspects of human civilization, such as building structures, transportation systems, water supply, and environmental protection. In this video, I will introduce you to some of the most famous civil engineers who have made a significant impact on the world with their innovations and achievements. Let's get started. The first civil engineer I want to talk about is Isambard Kingdom Brunel, who was voted the second greatest Britain of all time in a 2002 BBC poll. Brunel was born in 1806 and died in 1859. He was a visionary engineer who designed and built many remarkable structures, such as the Clifton Suspension Bridge, the Great Western Railway, and the SS Great Britain, which was the first iron steamship to cross the Atlantic Ocean. Brunel was known for his bold and daring designs, his technical excellence, and his passion for engineering. He was also a pioneer of prefabrication, standardization, and mass production, which are essential concepts in modern engineering. The next civil engineer I want to mention is Gustav Eiffel, who was known as the magician of iron and designed two of the most iconic structures in the world. The Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty. Eiffel was born in 1832 and died in 1923. He was a master of metal structures and a leader of the Industrial Revolution in France. He designed and built many bridges, viaducts, and railway stations, but his most famous work was the Eiffel Tower, which was built for the 1889 World's Fair in Paris. The Eiffel Tower was the tallest structure in the world at the time, and it is still one of the most visited monuments in the world. Eiffel also designed the internal structure of the Statue of Liberty, which was a gift from France to the United States in 1886. Eiffel was a genius of engineering and a symbol of French culture and pride. The third civil engineer I want to highlight is Fazlur Rahman Khan, who was regarded as the father of tubular designs and the Einstein of structural engineering. Khan was born in 1929 and died in 1982. He was a Bangladeshi-American engineer who revolutionized the design of skyscrapers and high-rise buildings. He invented the concept of the tube structure, which consists of a rigid outer frame that resists wind and earthquake forces, and allows for more open and flexible floor plans. He designed the Willis Tower and the John Hancock Center in Chicago, which were the tallest buildings in the world at the time. Khan was also a pioneer of computer-aided design and analysis, and a mentor and teacher to many young engineers. He was a visionary engineer who changed the skyline of the world. The fourth civil engineer I want to discuss is John Smeaton, who was known as the father of civil engineering and the founder of the first engineering society in the world. Smeaton was born in 1724 and died in 1792. He was a British engineer who applied scientific principles and methods to engineering problems and projects. He designed and built many bridges, canals, harbors, and lighthouses, but his most famous work was the Eddystone Lighthouse, which was built on a rocky reef in the English Channel in 1759. The Eddystone Lighthouse was the first lighthouse to use hydraulic lime, which is a type of cement that hardens underwater and it was the first lighthouse to have a scientific design based on experiments and calculations. Smeaton was also the founder of the Society of Civil Engineers, which was later renamed the Institution of Civil Engineers, and is still the oldest and most prestigious engineering society in the world. The fifth civil engineer I want to introduce is John Rennie, who was one of the 19th century's most eminent civil engineers and designed three of the most famous bridges in London. Rennie was born in 1761 and died in 1821. He was a Scottish engineer who specialized in hydraulic engineering and bridge construction. He designed and built many canals, docks, and drainage systems, but his most famous works were the Waterloo Bridge, the New London Bridge, and the Southwark Bridge, which were built between 1811 and 1831. The Waterloo Bridge was the first bridge to use cast iron arches, the New London Bridge was the first bridge to use caissons, which are watertight chambers used to work underwater, and the Southwark Bridge was the first bridge to use wrought iron chains. Rennie was a brilliant engineer and a master of bridge design. 
The sixth and final civil engineer I want to talk about is E. Sridharan, who was nicknamed the Metro Man and changed the face of Indian public transport by building the Delhi Metro and the Konkan Railway. Sridharan was born in 1932 and is still alive today. He is an Indian engineer who is known for his leadership, integrity, and efficiency in managing large and complex engineering projects. He was the chief engineer of the Konkan Railway, which was a 760-kilometer railway line that connected the western and southern coasts of India, and was completed in 1998. He was also the managing director of the Delhi Metro, which was a 343-kilometer metro system that transformed the transportation and urban development of the capital city of India, and was completed in 2011. Sridharan was a visionary engineer and a role model for many Indians. These are some of the famous civil engineers who have made a significant impact on the world. There are many more civil engineers who deserve recognition and appreciation for their contributions to society and humanity. Civil engineering is a fascinating field that covers many aspects of designing, building, and maintaining the physical and natural environment. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos about civil engineering. Thank you for watching and see you next time.